Hi guys! Welcome to Champ's Japanese Kitchen! Thank you for always watching this video. Today, we're gonna make everyone's favorite, the chicken karaage! But healthy. Okay guys, usually for karaage, we use chicken thigh. But we are going to use breast for this recipe to make it a little healthier. Don't worry. It'll still be just as juicy. The first thing we'll do is remove the skin and any excess fatty parts. Then, we'll cut the chicken into bite-sized chunks, maybe about an inch thick, just like this. Try to make them around about the same size if you can. Next, we'll start work on our marinade. And the first thing we'll do is peel some fresh ginger. Then, we'll take a clove of garlic. You can crush it under the flat side of your knife to easily take off the skin. Now, in a large bowl, we'll grate both of these together. You want about the same amount of ginger as garlic for this. Once we've added this to the bowl, let's also add 1 tablespoon of Japanese cooking sake as well as 2 tablespoons of soy sauce. We'll give that a mix. And then, let's add our chicken to the marinade. Let that sit for at least 30 minutes. Let those flavors become best friends. While we're waiting, I'm going to show you how to make a simple sauce called negi shio to put on our karaage. First up, we'll take half a green onion and make two cuts lengthwise down the stalk. Now you can cut the onion finely into small pieces, just like this. We will add this to a small bowl and give it a drizzle with sesame oil and a pinch of salt. The perfect negi shio topping for our chicken. Now our chicken is done marinating, we want to drain it a bit before we prepare it for cooking. Use a colander or a sieve and drain out the excess liquid. And then we will mix the chicken together with 2 tablespoons of flour. Be sure to accidentally cover the counter in flour, that's a very important step. Just a joke. Then we will add 2 tablespoons of potato starch. You can also use cornstarch here too. Make sure all the chicken gets completely covered. Now, this is the part where we usually deep fry our karaage, but today, we are making a healthier version, so we are going to pan fry. Heat up some olive oil in the frying pan over a medium heat, and add our chicken once the oil is hot. Now, we have all of our chicken in the pan. Let's turn down the heat and cover it with a lid. After about 2-3 to three minutes, our chicken should start to turn a nice golden brown. Flip it over and do the same thing again with the lid. And Okay guys, healthy and juicy chicken karaage is done! Oh! It looks good! It looks so delicious! Mmm, the smell of this green onion! I love it! Let's eat! Itadakimasu! Let's eat it! Mmm! What a flavor, garlic and ginger. Wow, so delicious. Wonderful, amazing. Mm. And also, it's crispy. Even it's pan fried. It's very crispy. Mm. Yeah, I forgot to tell you that. This is a, not a chicken thigh, chicken breast, but very soft. And we use this for the chicken breast without the skin. So it's less fat. So it's very healthy food. Healthy karaage. Why don't you try to make this karaage at your home? The green onions flavored so good. This is 
Genki Nata! I feel recharged! Thank you for watching! If you have any recipes that you want me to make, please leave a comment down below. And remember, after we eat the meal, Gotsou sama deshita!